Here in this section we're going to be looking at applications of the first derivative. So we need to go back first and just remind us of what the first derivative is. The first derivative is working with the tangent line and specifically gives us the slope formula for the tangent line. So it tells us the slope at any x value, in other words at any point. Um, so we have a couple of words that we're going to define. Um, the first one we're going to look at is increasing. A function is increasing on an interval if I pick any two x values and as I move from left to right the y values are getting larger. So that's what this definition is saying. So if I look at two x values, any two, and this is important that it's any two, not we don't just look at one, but we look at two and we compare them. We compare the x, the y values of those x values. We compare the y values of those points. If we move from left to right and the graph is going up, then we call that an increasing function. So let's look right here. So we have uh, two points. We have x sub one and we have x sub two. So x sub 1 is to the left, x sub 2 is to the right. When we look at the y values of those points, and here are the y values of those points, we notice that the y value on the right is larger than the y value on the left. In other words, if we're looking from, increase from left to right, so as I move from left to right, if the y values are getting larger, then we can say that the function is increasing on that particular interval. Okay, and if that's true, for every for any two x values that I pick, so I pick any two x values, I compare the y values, and I notice that the graph is going up from left to right, then we would say that the graph is increasing on that interval. So when we look from here, from point A to point B, we notice that the graph is rising as I move from left to right, and it's rising the entire time. So we would say on this particular interval that the function is increasing on the interval from A to B. Okay. So if I look um, at this left-hand graph, it says basically the, the opposite. We're talking about decreasing on a particular interval. So if I'm moving from left to right along the graph, if the graph start is going down continuously, then I would say that we are decreasing. So if I look from point A to point B, we notice that the graph is going down, 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 down all the way until we get to B. So on this particular interval we would say that the graph is decreasing um, on the interval from A to B. Okay. So we compare two x values. Basically we're moving from left to right on the graph and that is important. We're always moving from left to right. If the graph is going up we would say the graph is increasing on that interval. If the graph is only going down we would say that it's decreasing on that particular interval. Uh, what about constant? Uh, we would say that if we compare any two x values, so this is important, we're still comparing two x values, if the y values are exactly the same, then we would say that we are constant along that particular interval. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples of picking out increasing, decreasing, and constant intervals. So um, as I move from left to right, so let's look right here. So as I move from left to right, so I'm starting on the left and moving in this direction toward the right, um, along this right here I'm going down. So since we're going down we would say that we are decreasing on this particular interval. So let's actually pick out our intervals here. We'll, we'll, we'll label in right here. So let's go ahead and label decreasing. So we're going down as I move from left to right, and that's really important. We said uh, we are decreasing. So we're decreasing from negative infinity, because we have this arrow here, all the way down until we get to this point. And we're, when we're giving intervals, the intervals that we're giving are in terms of the x values. So we're decreasing all the way from negative infinity, and then we get to this point, it's x value of negative 2. And we always use open parentheses when we're giving uh, in, uh, intervals of increasing or decreasing here. So when we get to negative 2, all of a sudden there's a transition. It looks like the graph is flat. 
and this is what we would call a constant interval. You pick any two x values, compare their y values, and all of their y values are exactly the same. They're all 4. So this will be what we call a constant interval. So we go down a little bit. So the y values are constant from negative 2, open parentheses, all the way to 3. Open parentheses again. All right, then continuing on, as we move from x equals 3 on toward the right, we see that the graph is going up. It's increasing. So we have an increasing interval. And this is increasing from 3, open parentheses there, all the way to f infinity. Okay, because we have the arrow there, it implies that we continue on past, past the edge of the graph there. So we're going to put infinity and put our parentheses there. All right, so sometimes the graphs are really nice and pretty easy to pick out. What about a curvy graph? What if our graph is curving? So let's look at that. So we're going to move from left to right, and so we're going to have an implied arrow there that the graph continues on. So from negative infinity, so let's see, as we go up, we're going to increase. We're going up, 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 up as we move from left to right, and then we kind of stop. We kind of level off here, and then we start to go back down. So there's a point at which the graph kind of flattens out, kind of stops increasing. So we're increasing, increasing, it looks like until we get to negative 2. So the graph is going up, 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 and then kind of flattens out. So we're going to say that the graph is increasing or going up from left to right, from negative infinity all the way to negative 2, and then it stops at negative 2. Then it looks like the graph starts to go down. So as we move from left to right, all of a sudden we're going down, down, down. So we're going downhill, downhill. And we reach up a little point where it looks like it starts to level off or starts to stop going down. So from here to here, it looks like we're decreasing. The graph is going down. So we're going to say that it's decreasing from negative 2 until we get to an x value of 4. And then we're going to say it stops right there. Um, stops at 4, an x value of 4. Then we notice that after that it starts to pick up again, it starts to go uphill, up, 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 and continues to go up, and then we're going to put a little implied arrow there that the graph continues um, past the point at which we see. So increasing, 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 we're going up, 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 up. So we're increasing from 4 all the way to positive infinity.